Alrighty, YouTube, another one of Kip's Clips. Now, a bit of an update what's happening in Ukraine. Breaking news came through one hour ago, almost exactly. Russian forces are now seizing any aircraft missile bases. Go and check my last updates, man. I'm I don't normally blow my own trumpet, but it's so easy to actually be ahead of the game now. I, 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 they took over the airports, even though when RT was uh, saying it was militia men. And if you're taking over a space, what's the first place that you grab? The airports. They already had the port, Black Sea Fleet, and uh, they took all over the airport. They had the port. Now they're taking over the anti-aircraft missiles. They're here to stay. Russia. Russians armed forces are taking over this area. Um, this peninsula. Just go and look at it geographically. I've pointed out a few times now. It isn't. A, it's not a strictly. The, 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 the EU is going to paint this as a Ukraine or all picture when it's very much fragmented the, the Crimea and the, the um, Crimea Peninsula is very much separate from the, the Ukraine in the sense it's been autonomous as well for a while so on and so forth so anyway uh, Russian forces try to seize an aircraft missile base in Ukraine's Crimea Interfax Reuters Russian forces were trying on Saturday to seize control of an anti-aircraft missile command post in Ukraine's Crimea region. Interfax news agency quoted a Ukrainian military source as saying, see how accurate it is, <coughs> how accurate it is even, it said about 20 soldiers had entered the territory of the base in western Crimea and were attempting to capture it. The agency made no mention of clashes or casualties and said negotiations were underway. Reporting by those people and Timothy Heritage. I can see his name. Wow! Um, an English dude in there in the mix of things. Anyway, so not really much to go on here other than um, this could be spokes holes saying something that isn't exi that doesn't exist but i'm going to speculate there's something to it the reason i think there's something to it is because it makes sense like taking over the taking over the um airport um i mean I, I was even doing an update as the news came through live on sky that um they were saying oh well they've the, the Ukrainian authorities. This is this is the stuff that we're pushing on Sky. The, the the Ukrainian authorities have taken back back the airport. I don't know how long it lasted because I didn't monitor it long after that. But initially, I was like, "Well, what's what's happened? Uh, have they taken? Uh, have the uh, Russian troops left the airport? Have they filmed back?" And uh, set up road, roadblocks in and around the airport controlling everything in and out and it was the latter uh, so they're still very much in control and um, I'll leave a link for this down below I don't know how Reuters works actually so maybe they'll update this link or not but um, there you have it Russia um, is there to stay, their forces are there to stay they are not allowing this peninsula to fall to pro-EU, pro-anybody bar Russian forces um, Yanukovych was bad enough and you might think what are you saying Yanukovych he was pro-Russian Vladimir Putin doesn't want to talk to him right now Yanukovych is mucked up um, Temachenko or whatever her name is her with the crown she was in jail right where you could argue whether she was in jail for getting people murdered or whether she was in jail for or, or, or business dealings with who or Putin in Russia right <laughs> so this place is a mess leave a link for this down below thumbs it up share it on Facebook Twitter Google Plus check out the radio show Gun Glasgow Underground News Network live this Sunday think we should maybe hopefully if I can still get in touch with him commonly known as Dom coming on uh, he's going to be touching uh, talking about I still need to make a video about it I've been trying to um, I should do that today. Um, I've not got the link here. Um, 
commonly known as Dom should be coming on the show, hopefully. Um, Days was hitting me up earlier on. I've got a message waiting for him, for him right now. Um, he, and um, I'm having a brain fart right now, but he's telling me what he was talking about. Um, I would bring it up, but just in case there's something that, that they shouldn't get brought up, I'm going to leave it there. Um, Days is going to be there. No touch to Martin yet. Hopefully Martin's going to be there. Need to speak to JP. Hopefully he's going to be there. Uh, need to speak to Dom, confirm him, see what he's going to turn up. He's going to talk about uh, his People's Voice Challenge. Um, the last working, the last um, link I was sent through, it was brilliant, man, when the penny drops. It was still a work in progress, but it was amazing what can happen without, but without money. Donation of time, effort and love, it was brilliant. Um, I'm going to speculate. The few, like I'm a, I'm in the chat room, but I'm get very bad reading skills, and uh, to keep up with that bad boy, you would need to read, be able to read a novel a night. Um, I've said I can donate time, effort, and whatever little skills I can bring to the table, which is none. <laughs> to be honest, I can speak. That's about it. Um, but hopefully, going to get Dom on with an update about that. Plus, we're fast approaching. That so. That's just the 1st of March, didn't even realise it. Right, so mid-March, man. March. March. Very significant time. I'm, 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 I'm pegging this month to be a very significant one. I think um, when we come into April, here's my prediction. See when we come into April, April not going to be the same world as it is right now. And I'm going to put that down to the calendar and the changes they seem to be accelerating and this seems very common with rhetoric and fear mongering and stuff but I'm just the, just the amount of stuff that seems to be sort of a happening the, the um, now I, I fall into the trap maybe I do I, I do I, I do like everybody else I'm human fall into the trap of getting riled up by all the stuff that gets put out and you go, oh how, that's your covering for that, that's your, your... And it's not, I'm not trying to make anything insignificant. A paedophile is a paedophile, murder is murder is murder and it's all horrible. But what's happening just now is the propaganda that's getting propagated is coming at everybody from all angles. They're putting out information to rile up everybody. See if, really give, if you particularly hate paedophiles, they're putting out that stuff. If they particularly hate the royals, they're putting out that stuff. If they put, if you particularly hate immigrants, they're putting, they're putting out that stuff. Even if, you, if you're left wing, right wing, in the middle wing, up, the, up, down, left, right wing, chicken wing, I don't know, whatever wing, they're putting out information to make everybody angry and it's horrible and everybody's biting, me included uh, and what I'm going to try and do from now on is get people into these clips by saying whatever but in these clips saying, well right, look, the world's going to shit but laugh at it man, it's funny because it's very, very predictable. I mean, that Harriet Harman thing. That look. Oh, oh. I said my. I've got a better tinfoil hat in the, the wash. But it's time for us to put our tinfoil hats on and be proud. Loud and proud with our tinfoil hats. Seriously. In the sense that. Um, no longer is it like, like we were the tinfoil hat ones were the ones that were saying about Pi Pi's links to senior ministers. That's very much true. There is very much links between Pi and senior ministers. Harriet Harman, <coughs> Hewitt and Harman's husband. And then go and look at the policies and what Harriet Harman's been involved in. Even one of the defences was like, eh, she wasn't involved with the, the, the proven paedophile, the convicted paedophile and gay rights. She was there looking after the 
children's rights. Now, is that just me that's that scary? Is it because I've got my tinfoil hat on? I think it might have even been the BBC I've seen that one, but who knows. Anyway, update. All links below before a tangent on any a million one different things. Um, I radio show this Sunday. Uh, check it out. Alrighty, YouTube. Catch you.